Once I arrived on campus, the first thing I did was take a COVID test, which was honestly the part of the move-in process I was most afraid of. I've seen those videos of people getting those swabs shoved all the way up their noses. It turned out that UCLA had us self-administer the swab test, so it didn't end up being as scary or as painful as I thought it might be. It was still quite uncomfortable. As you can see from the amount of watery eyes, I stuck that swab up pretty far, but maybe that trust was misplaced because I still don't know whether or not I stuck that thing far enough up my nose. After that, I checked in and had my ID card activated as my room key. With that all squared away, I headed back to the car to move all of my stuff into my room with the help of these laundry carts and my dad. He wasn't allowed to enter the building at all, so I did pretty much all of the rest of the move-in process on my own. My first major struggle was finding a spot to put this fridge. Since there are still three sets of furniture in there, there really wasn't any room to put it where it wouldn't become a fire hazard. So I ended up just sticking it in the bathroom where at least it was near a power outlet. Speaking of the bathroom, the items that go in this room were the next priority in my unpacking process. Since I can always delay the unpacking of things like my clothes or my tech equipment if I get tired and I just want to go to sleep and do it later. But I can't go to sleep without brushing my teeth or washing my face, so these were a major priority. All right, I'm here by my window so we can have some better lighting. And to start off with, let me tell you a bit more about what Curology does. So the Curology service provides you with a custom skincare formula based on a quiz and some photos and written descriptions that you provide about your skin type and skin concerns. I've been using my Curology formula for about six months now. I've used up two entire bottles of this and this is my third one. And so far I've found it very helpful in reducing a lot of the skin concerns that I discussed in my questionnaire. My skin is quite dry and I used to have very severe flaking on my cheeks and the area around my eyes and between my eyebrows, mostly caused by this dryness. Thanks to this Curology formula and some specialized skincare advice from my dermatology provider, it was pretty much all cleared up as you can see. Of course, you won't be receiving the exact same formula to address those exact same concerns. Your formula will be customized to you and your skin. So if you do have acne or other skin concerns that are different from mine, Curology can still be a great option for you. Additionally, since it's a custom formula developed for you by a skincare provider, you can also reach out to them and ask for slight adjustments to your formula. For example, in this video, you've seen that I've just moved from the San Francisco Bay Area down to Los Angeles, which is significantly drier and warmer. So I'm a little concerned that the change in environment might disrupt the balance of my skin. So if there's anything I notice like increased dryness or sudden oiliness, I can just message my dermatology provider and have them change the formula to address those new concerns. If this sounds interesting to you, visit the link that's in the description or on the screen right now to start your free trial. Just cover shipping and handling. Now let's get back into my unpacking. I put a bunch of my cleaning supplies on the top shelf of this cupboard, and now I'm putting my clothes hangers on the rack. Next, I tried to set up my mattress pad and sheets on this top bunk, which would have been my ideal place to sleep since it's a nice tucked in corner, but it took me around half an hour of struggling to put on this mattress protector and still failing to put the fourth corner on it to realize that I physically could not do this, or at least I physically wasn't willing to put in this much effort every single laundry day. During the, the weeks and days and the hours, the hours in the car leading up to being here, I was, I was so excited and I'm still very lucky that I get to be here at all, but suddenly that excitement has just disappeared and this horrible lonely feeling has hit me like a truck. All I want right now is to to get back on the car and go home. I guess I'll show you around tomorrow. 
Hopefully I'll feel better after getting some sleep here. And maybe... Maybe this will be home. Okay, see you later. So when I turned off the camera, I cried for like half an hour. Um, I called one of my friends and I ended up doing a lot more unpacking. So let me show you around what I've gotten done so far. First of all, I've unpacked most of my bedding and put the mattress protector on this bottom bunk instead of that top bunk over there that I was very much struggling to cover with my mattress protector. And contrary to popular belief, that is not the only reason I'm using this bottom bunk, or at least I'm coming up with these reasons to justify this because I simply cannot put sheets on that bed. For example, I'm very much blind when I'm not wearing my glasses, so I don't want to have to climb up a bunk bed ladder without my glasses on. And as my good buddy Ben advised me, sleeping on this bed and using the top bunks as storage space frees up a lot of floor space for me. I've put most of my food on top of the microwave or in the refrigerator, which is not yet plugged in. I still need to buy an extension cord for it. Additionally, I took this shelf off of the desk that is facing the window, freeing up some extra room to look out the window, since this is my one escape from this room during my self-isolation period. Good morning. I'm doing a lot better after the shock of yesterday. I know that Pretty much every college student has to deal with that experience of just being dropped off into an unfamiliar environment and just having to learn how to deal with it, being independent. But I feel like it was just particularly hard on me with the circumstances of this year since I've been up very, very alone for the six months leading up to being here. And now I don't have the excitement of move-in day and crowds and having roommates to go out and have adventures with. All I can do is show up here, not really see or talk to anybody, say goodbye to my parents, and then be stuck in this empty room surrounded by boxes. And it felt so alien and unfamiliar that all I wanted was to go back home, where I could see people and things that I knew. And now that I've unpacked a bit more, it does feel a bit more like home. It's not quite... it's not quite a home yet, but I think I can get there. <laughs> so speaking of that, let's get back to some more unpacking. As you can see here, I started the day by unpacking some of my filming and electronic equipment, and then I folded and organized all of my clothes into the top two drawers of this dresser. A few things I ended up moving into my cupboard since they were too large and needed to be on hangers. Next, on this bookcase I organized some of my daily essentials like my water and face masks. And now that I finally unpacked everything from these boxes, I deconstructed them, or I don't know what it's called. I like cut up the bottom so I could flatten them for easier storage. Now that I've finished with all of the boring organizational stuff, the next thing is to add some flair. And unfortunately, this is not going to be the aesthetic dorm room makeover you might have been here to watch. The only decoration I brought with me were these star-shaped string lights. So I put them up with my janky mounting solution of choice, which was scotch tape. I wouldn't really recommend this on plaster walls because it can damage them, but since I was putting these up on wooden furniture, I guess it worked out okay. Next, I put up three command hooks on this wall to hang up my backpack and tote bags, but at the time of editing this video, it wasn't really a great idea. This cloth bulletin board texture doesn't really take well to command hooks, so these all end up falling off, unfortunately. And with that, I'm basically moved in. There's a few more things I still need to spruce up, a few more extra items I forgot that I'm gonna go pick up at Target. 
but I can't really leave my room to go buy these extra decorations or items until I get my COVID test results back and they are negative most likely. So here is a little preliminary look at my dorm setup, but I will be doing a more in-depth tour later on this year. So look forward to seeing that later. I hope you found this video interesting and thanks for watching. I upload new videos about student life every week. You can check out photos of my notes and bullet journal on my Instagram, which is at studyquill. And you can find more videos not about school on my second channel, Jazzy Doesn't Study. See you next time! Hello, moon. I push back the serious heat.